Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this video, we're going to look at exporting low resolution files for your website from Lightroom. But first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on my website. In order to export a photo from Lightroom, you can press Command Shift E on the Mac, that's Control Shift E on the PC, in order to see the export dialog box. When I'm exporting a photo, there's really only one question to answer. Is this for print or not? And in this video, we're going to cover exporting low resolution photographs for your website, Facebook, or for email. I like to place my web files in the same folder as the original photo, but in a subfolder that I name low res for web. I don't do anything with the file naming at this point. File names are really quite meaningless to me. This is not video. The file settings I take from a quality of 100, anywhere between 80 and 90 would be fine. I leave it in the same color space. I always work in the sRGB color space. I resize to fit the image on the long edge to 1000 pixels at 72 pixels per inch. Now a thousand pixels on the long edge just means that whether your photo is portrait or landscape, that edge is going to be a thousand and the other edge will follow suit. This may be dependent on the size of your website or blog. For instance, if you only have an 800 pixel wide blog, then naturally you would want to constrain this long edge to 800 pixels. I'm going to leave the sharpening off the metadata default and if you'd like, you can add a watermark. I've gone over watermarks in previous videos. You can include a simple watermark or you can edit the watermark and include a graphic or text. And for post-processing, I'm just going to have that show in Finder or that would be Windows Explorer if you're on the PC. But because this is something I do quite often, I'm going to save this as an export preset by clicking the add button and naming this low res for web and then clicking create. You'll notice that I also have a high res for print and it is also stored in the same as the original photo but in a subfolder called high res for print. Now why should we create low res for web? Well that's because most websites will load faster if the files are smaller and this could take a significantly large high resolution file down by many factors it just keeps it smaller, lightweight, easier to upload, and it makes more sense because you do not need a high resolution photo on your website for viewing. High resolution only makes sense for print. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.